Can wait. I haven't had my coffee yet. Morning, Sid. Morning. Here. Who hasn't laid the table properly? Who hasn't? No milk. Oh, blow my hang up. What's this? Little wheat crispies. Oh, new breakers. Lovely. I wonder if they snap, crackle, or pop. Morning, lady. <laughs> Hello, Jojo. Free me, please, love. <laughs> there we are. Untouched by human hand. Straight from, straight from the counter to the customer. Lovely, thank you. That's enough. Is that nice? Mmm, it's a delicious taste. Where do you get these? Down in the post this morning. Trial offer. Really? Mm. I must get a pack of these and I'll go down to the village. I've already ordered a hundredweight. Hundredweight? We never eat a hundredweight. We're not supposed to. It's for the cows. <laughs> A high protein cattle food for contented cows. <laughs> Guaranteed to increase your milk yield. Not only that, it fortifies you against foot and mouth. <laughs> That's not funny, Sid. It might play havoc with my hormones. <laughs> I mean, the time for you to worry, mate, is when you start chasing one of the cows. Huh? Well, it's your turn to do the milking. Oh, so I better look at me farmer and breeder. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you've cancelled the Greyhound Weekly. I happen to be taking an interest in my job. And that's highly commendable in about time. As a matter of fact, I've sent him in a suggestion which would very well revolutionise farming in this country. No, not another idea like that one about feeding cows on fruit juice to produce instant milkshakes. <laughs> it might have worked, maybe. It might have worked. People no. are always laughing at new ideas. That's the trouble with this country. Where are the men of vision? Men with imagination. Men with that spark of genius needed to light the torch. To... All right, I'm hooked. What's this revolutionary idea of yours, then? Well, if I mentioned the Wright brothers, what would you think? Aeroplane? Marconi? Radio. Fleming? 007? Penicillin, you ignorant twit. All right, then get to the point. In future generations, when they hear the name Sid Turner, what will they think of? Crumple. Oh. <laughs> go on, then, go on. Pig's milk. Pig's milk? Pig's milk. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, you can't milk a pig. Why, well, that's only because nobody's ever tried. It's perfectly logical. I mean, the pig suckles its young just like a cow does. So if you can milk a cow, you can milk a pig. Well, you can't milk a pig. Why not? Well, you never get a milk stool low enough. I thought of that. <laughs> I thought you might have. Yes, you put the pigs up on a ramp. <laughs> Have you been eating these crispies? It's all very well you're knocking it, mate. I'm telling you, the pig's milk is there for the taking. Yeah. Not only that, I mean, look at the byproducts you can get. Pig cheese. Pig butter. Bacon-flavoured yoghurt. Yes. <laughs> Never mind a yuck. You wait, you'll see in the morning when I milk that sow. Yeah, well, let me know when you do, and I'll be out there with my camera. All right, you'll see. Here. There's a letter from Miss Plummer of the Fletchley Hunt. What, yoinks, telly and all that? Yeah. I wrote and applied for membership for both of us. Forget it. Sydney, it's about time you and I joined the county set. You're joking. You and me, we'd have trouble joining the tea set. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, then. Because she's coming this afternoon to see us. I still don't think we should join. Oh, come on, Sid, you'll enjoy it. The thrill of the chase, the cry of the hounds, the sound of the horn. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hang, hang on, hang on, just a minute, John Peel. <laughs> There's a couple of things you've overlooked. Such as? Well, horses, for a start. Or did you figure on following the hounds on a heifer? 
we can hire some horses. That brings me to point number two. We can't ride. Said, look, there's nothing to ride in a horse. You just sit there, see G up, the horse does the rest. I tell you what, we'll hire some horses, spend a couple of hours in the saddle, and what do you say? Where did you put the embrocation? <laughs> Open your eyes. No, I don't want to see where I'm going. Don't worry, there's no danger of that. He's <laughs> got no head. <laughs> Fuck. I can't move. I to try. But the horse wouldn't like to gallop round in reverse, would it? Just keep still. Don't move. Keep still. There we are. Go keep still. Here. Uncle's coming. Keep still. Uh, hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I haven't got my foot in the pedal here. Tired, <laughs> Don't be so nervous, you see. You mustn't show the horse that you're afraid of him, right? He already knows I'm afraid of him. <laughs> you do, see? Take a nice little easy gallop around the middle, okay? Now, be very quiet and don't do anything to start with. All right? Come on. That's right. Matterhorn mist bath salts. Clear and fresh as a mountain air. Eases away aches and pains. One spoon pulp of bar. Oh, well, it's cheap enough. Book smokes. Hello, matey. For me. That's my bath you're soaking in. Yeah. Was your bath, Sydney? Possessions, nine tenths of the law. Here, scrub me back, would you? Scrub out of it. Go on, get out of that bath. What for? Because I want it, that's what for. Well, I tell you what, you can have it after me, eh? You're choking. I'm not using your leftover bath, you know? Not like dipping sheep, maybe. One tubful does a flop. Right, well, suit yourself then. Here, is that the back scrub you got there? Let me have that, would you? Go on, give me the sponge as well. Oh, and let me that book to read. Have the lot. Cooey! Anybody home? Who's that? Miss Plummer, Fletchley Hunt. Just a minute. Sid? Sid? Yeah? There's somebody at the back door. Pardon? Miss, Miss, <laughs> Miss Fletchley's at the back door. I can't hear you. Yoo-hoo! Just a minute. Look, I can't. I'm in the bar. <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, I say. I've no idea you were in the middle of your ablutions. Right. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, that's all right. Do come in. Anyway, it's uh, it's very nice to meet you, Mr. Um, uh, Evans. Evans. Yes. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> Any of your begonias. Yeah. Yes, I always use uh, bone meal myself. Mind 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 I use nothing but Johnson's. All right, order, please. Order, please. Order, order please. Order! Really? I beg your pardon, Colonel. Really? Must get one of these gavel things. The awful help. Now, perhaps you'd like to ask the chairman of the committee to read the minutes of the last. 
at the last meeting. Yeah. All right, Colonel. Remember the meetings. The last meeting. All right. Up you go. Yes. Uh, it uh, gives me very great pressure. Ple 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 a pleasure to be, I am pleased uh, to be able to stand up. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. And to uh, read the m m m m minutes of the Flitchley. Uh, uh, and uh, the the uh, oh the yes way. I know I know <laughs> at a meeting beholden uh, who, who meeting oh yes well I think you're all more or less uh, familiar pretty familiar uh, yes, with the uh, broad uh, broad outline uh, lines of the. Uh, and so that I think perhaps we might take that as red. Mm? Yes. So if you would uh, just uh, signify in the usual manner by raising your hats, hand, uh, that I think we could... Uh, is that, uh, is that uh, any uh, object, uh, any object question? All right, uh, uh, proposed. Seconded. I can't... Uh, oh, all right, uh, Colonel. Uh, all right. Uh, carried, uh, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, <laughs> I was, uh, would you care to give us your report, Miss Blubber? Thank, Thank you. Yes. Our last meet was very well attended. Yes. The start was delayed due to the pack chasing Major Crawshaw's Basset Hound instead of the fox. <laughs> However, this will not occur again, as the Major has promised that in future he will refrain from bringing his Basset Hound, especially when she is in season. <laughs> all in all, it was quite our most successful hunt being the first time we actually bagged a fox. Oh, oh. Sir Giles is to be commended for his enthusiasm in leaping Holcombe Brook, and we feel that he deserves some recognition, so we intend to present him with the brush on his discharge from the cottage hospital. Oh, very good, very good. Finally, the hunt ball. This year, we broke all records and cleared a gross profit of over 750 pounds. Oh, very good. Very good. We look forward to our treasurer's report on his return from the Bahamas. Oh, thank you, Miss Plummer. <laughs> thank you, Miss Plummer, very much indeed. Now, perhaps, uh, Colonel, you would like to make a note of that in the minutes. The minutes, oh, he said, the meeting, no, 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 no. We've been through all that. Excuse Miss Plummer, and I... Uh, I understand that you actually went to Clover Farm. Did you, uh, did you see anything of Mr. Evans? I saw everything of Mr. Evans. <laughs> Lord, how awful for you. Yes, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Well, I mean, uh, do they wish to join or not? Oh, most certainly. I've invited them to this meeting. Ah, I see. They should be here in a few minutes. Uh, minutes? Oh, no, no, yes, no, no, no. <laughs> Down, for heaven's sake, just Sir, um, excuse me, are you expecting two new members? Yes, as a matter of fact, we are. Well, they've arrived. Oh, did they ask for us? Well, they didn't have to. Come in, gentlemen. Oh. Yours! <laughs> Anywho. Is it all right if we leave the horses in the car park? Oh, I think so, sir, yes. May I ask why you are dressed like that? This is the Fletchley Hunt. Yes, it is. That's right. Yes, yes. I thought everybody was going to be punched up in pink. <laughs> we do dress in the pink when we meet for a hunt, but not for a committee meeting. You great early Nelly. <laughs> uh, not you, miss. Well, I, I'm sorry. When you wrote and asked us to come to the meeting, I thought you meant the hunt. Yes, yeah, well, that's all right. It's a quite an understandable mistake. But would you care to sit down, gentlemen? Uh, thank, thank you. Off, off, off you, yourself, off, thank you. Now, look here. We'd, uh, we'd rather like to discuss this application of yours. If you can, uh, if you can spare us a few minutes. Minutes? Oh, yes. Just relax. I've got your applications here. I must say they're very impressive. I had no idea, Mr. Turner, that Eton was your alma mater. Oh, yes, yes. I went to school there, too. <laughs> very droll. And I must say, Mr. Evans, the Flitchley Hunt will be honoured to claim among its members a kinsman of Lloyd George. Lloyd George? Shh, shh, shh. I propose that these applications be accepted. Yes, well, I'll, I'll second that. Yes, oh, are, are we in then? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yes, most certainly. There's a meet tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock at the Spread Eagle. And we shall be there. Oh, yes. Uh, 
Will there be a booze up fast? What? A booze up? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, have a few uh, syrup cups, you know, don't we? Just a few syrup cups, you know, uh, just to get the blood course. Right, yes. We're going to enjoy this, you know. Yes, I'm sure you will. Have you ever hunted before? Not foxes. <laughs> Uh, how many members do you have? Well, with a full turnout, we've got about 40, and of course, we've got a magnificent pack. Pack? Pack of what? Well, hounds. Hounds. Oh. We've got a 25 couple of the finest hounds in the country. Oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> yes, so we just follow the doggies. Oh. oh. Doggies. Well, yeah, I suppose. Anyway, it's just until we uh, find a fox. Oh, it's I so think. exciting. When a fox breaks cover, then the hounds give chase. That sounds marvellous. Uh, how long do you chase the Fox for? Well, just as soon as the hounds run it to ground. I see, and, that, and that's it then, is that's it? it? Yes, yes. I hope you'll both be in at the kill. Kill? Yes. <laughs> then the hounds have killed the fox. You and the master you, decides who's going to get You mean you, you kill it? Yes, of course you do, of course, yes. And then they cut off the brush and then the four pads. Pad? What? Oh, well, well, uh, then. Pause. You cut off the feet? Yeah. Oh, sounds a bit strong, doesn't it? Yes. I don't like the sound of this. I, I think you're pandering to the lowest basic human instincts. Certainly. I think you're savage, yes. sadistic, that's it. and bloody barbaric. You're right. <laughs> yes, that's it. I don't like the trend of this conversation. Well, I'm not wild about it myself. <laughs> well, if that's your attitude, I don't think we really care to have you as members. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. It happens to be mutual. You can right. take your aunt and shove it right up your jodhpur. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And people like you should be stopped. Oh, yes, yeah, should we? Yes, and we're going to stop you this minute. Minute? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, really? How do you propose to do that? By joining the Anti-Blood Sports League. Well, for your information, there isn't a branch in Fletchley. There is now. <laughs> Finish yours? Yes. Let's have a look at it then. Yeah. Now come on, let's have a look. Down with the hand. Well, I didn't have room for the tea. <laughs> Very patriotic. We can stick it up by the war memorial. Well, don't mind about that. I've worked out a plan of campaign. Yeah. We are going to enlist the aid of some VIPs. <laughs> Matt Mugridge? No, we're going higher than that. Harold Wilson? No, right up to the top. Anybody higher than him? We are going to get, matey, the backing of the Duke of Edinburgh. The Duke of Edinburgh? That's right. I've booked a call through to him. <laughs> He'll never bother with us. Of course he will. He's always shooting off his mouth about playing a good role in society. Can't he do it himself? There are, speaking of the devil. Hello? Can I speak to the Duke of Edinburgh, please? That is the Duke of Edinburgh. It's him. It's him. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. I hope you're keeping well, sir. And the wife? Good. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, well, sir, you don't happen to know me, sir, but uh, I was in the Navy as well, you see. So, I mean, I suppose you could say that we were shipmates. Well, it's like this, shipmate. Uh, my colleague and I were wondering if you would support our uh, anti-blood sports campaign here in Fletchley. Pardon? <laughs> don't you use that language to me, Mush. <laughs> Yeah, well, now, now, Dick. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Mush. That's no way to speak to royalty. That wasn't royalty. You said you threw to the Duke of Edinburgh. I was. So? It's a pub in Pimlico. <laughs> ah, well, if it isn't one of our rebel friends. Well, how's the campaign going? Oh, we're making progress. See that? Oh, yeah. Unfair to little foxes. Yeah. Yes, I always wanted to see that. <laughs> Who's in it? It's not a film, it's a slogan. Oh, I see what you mean, yes. Well, if you don't mind my saying so, I don't think you're going to get very much support round here, you know. Don't you believe it. Hmm? We're getting up a petition to send to Parliament. Yeah? I've been to every house in the village. Hmm? You know what our target is? Yeah. 10,000 signatures. And how many have you got? 13. <laughs> Very impressive. Well, it's a start, isn't it? I mean, we're only dealing with the important people. Going for people like the local magistrate. Yeah, well, I don't think you'll get him to sign. Why? Because I happen to be the local magistrate. 
Well, that covers that, doesn't it? Now, mind you, I might be persuaded to sign, you know, for, uh, you know, I mean, a little, <laughs> a little consideration. What, what sort of consideration? Well, I'm very fond of brandy, you know. You know I. Yeah. Now, Lord, let's have a large brandy. That's very kind of you. Thank Here you very are. much. Now, what's that? That's the brandy up petition. Just oh. sign that. What? Oh, good heavens, my dear fellow. You can't expect me to sign a thing like that. What about the consideration? Well, I know the considerations, and the answer's no. One large brandy. Thank you very much. Good luck, you Turner. Thank you very much indeed. Just hang on. You should... Good day to you, gentlemen. Hey, come here. No, no violence. I wasn't going to... Seven, Bob. <laughs> you blooming swindler. Hey, Sid, great news. I got two more signatures. Two more signatures? Yes. Well, that's good, that is. That makes 15. I mean, if we can't stop them, we can always play them rugger. <laughs> Do I detect a note of despondency in our campaign to save the fox? Well, let's say that if I was a fox, I'd emigrate. Ah, come on, say we just started. Look, we get some of the leaders of the community behind us, we eh? We just had one of them, a local magistrate. Well, try the local vicar. All right, I'll try yeah. him. And then we'll have a march and a mass rally in the marketplace. And you can address the crowds. You want me to make a speech? Make a speech, man of vision, flaming, 007, all that, eh? That's it. Take your torch and ignite the masses. Oh, blimey, I'll ignite them, yes. And then sir. we'll have a sit-in. Sit in? Yeah. We'll sit in the lane and block the hunt's way. I don't like the sound of that. Well, what's there to worry about? When those 40 horses come galloping down the lane, we'll all be sitting there. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I'd just like a quick word with the vicar. Well, I'm afraid he's just going out. Uh, vicar, can you spare a moment? <laughs> And so we must all stick together for the common cause. Yeah, yeah. We've put up with this long enough, and I intend to get things moving now. We'll stop them. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome, they shall not come someday. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome. Now, where have you been? You might well ask where I've been. I just have. I have just ruined the hunt. What do you mean? Smell that. What is it? Any seed. The dogs go raving mad for that. You mean you laid false trails? Hundreds of false trails. The blooming hands are galloping around like blue nosed flies. Really? <laughs> You're a genius. Oh, well. If you got it, you got it. You gonna have a bath? Yes, I was. Can I have it? Yeah. Get the pong off. Yep. You burned it, Sydney. There you are. Oh, God, blimey. Look at that. <laughs> Get out of that bath. <laughs> she won't do any harm. I am not getting in there with her swimming about. You never know what she might pick up. Come on, get out. Come on, get out. Come on, then. Come on. I've got to enjoy this. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Say, do I have to put those screens up every time you take a bath? I'm not going to look at you. I like my privacy. Come on. Hey, I can hear the hunt. <laughs> Oh, those dogs are going in all directions. <laughs> Get down the seats, down the trick. They're going all over the place. They're going. Sid! 